one of Governor Murphy's key focus areas is on building resilience. Sometimes that feels a little fluffy when we talk about building resilience, both in individuals and in communities. This is important work. Can you talk about what resilient children and communities look like to you and why it's absolutely not fluffy? <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. You know, uh, you mentioned I have five kids who are lucky enough to be in New Jersey where we have great leadership and what that looks like is um, they're in school and they're learning about social emotional learning, life skills, things that are preparing them for the inevitable challenges that are going to come with life. We know that that is going to happen. And so being able to give youth the tools that they'll need to address those challenges is really key. Uh, Mental Health America has always had the phrase before stage four. So we know that it's important to intervene early. What is that going to look like? How do we teach those help-seeking behaviors to young people so that they can reach out when they are first experiencing difficulty and not wait a decade before they seek help? So it's really a key piece of the curriculum. First Lady Tammy Murphy has done a lot with curriculum in the state of New Jersey in many ways and making sure it's embedded in every part of what we do. So it is science. It is in your phys ed class. It's part of everyday life, as is all of physical health. Yeah, thanks, Amy. Governor Murphy, when it comes to the role that governors can play in building resiliency in children and their communities, what are your thoughts on that? First of all, again, I'm honored to be with this august group. Uh, I owe a lot of my deep, uh, whatever de depth of understanding I have on mental, mental health to Amy and her husband, Patrick, and their family who really have transformed my personal and I think our collective view on uh, destigmatizing mental health and thinking of this in a much more holistic way. 